What's going on, everybody? I'm Mike from Dominus Athletics, and today we're going to let you in on one of our most recent back and bicep workouts. Now, this was done at Met Gym, as you can see on the left side, and we just changed back to this gym about a month ago. Now, this is a sta your standard workout. You know, we did around three sets of 10 reps, you know, that was a standard thing. And we threw in some forearms and biceps at the end, as well as rear delts. Uh, this was actually one of the machines that is new. Well, it's new for me. I think Luigi's done this in the past. Normally, I'll deadlift or I'll do back extensions. But since I can't deadlift due to an injury right now, this is the next best thing. Um, it wasn't that great for me, honestly. I, I honestly prefer extensions. But, you know, I'm a free weights kind of guy. So that's the way it goes. And next we did some bent over rows. Now, I love bent over rows. They, they hit the whole back. They hit your lats. They hit your uh, rhomboids. They hit the middle part of your back. And you're even getting a bit of hamstrings and lower back in there. And the trick with this is you have to keep your back straight and go low enough. Actually, here, I could have uh, actually gone lower here. So shame on me for that one. And also look ahead of you when you're doing them. Because you don't want to look down. You'll have a tendency to bring your shoulders forward. Again, we did 3 by 10 and we just increased the weight a little bit as we went on. And there's Luigi again. After rows, we moved on to a variation of a lat pull down. We hit some lats. Um, this was actually another new machine, so you're trying out all the new machines for this workout. And what I actually like about this machine is you get a really nice squeeze at the bottom. You see how when Luigi's doing it, you feel a nice squeeze. You really get that mind muscle connection, and you get a massive pump in your lats. And you're even engaging your biceps a little bit because your palms are facing you. Um, I believe we did 3 by 12 here, so 12 reps. And the trick here was just to control the rep and not really focus on the weight. Just control, don't swing like, like here, and focus on time under tension. Moving on to some T-bar rows is what we did next. Again, great compound exercise. You know, it's similar to bent over rows, but this time you have a closer grip and it really hits the whole back here. You feel it in your lats, you feel it even in your traps, your rhomboids, your middle back and your lower back. And this is what happens when you don't feel like taking out the weight. So you just add more. Um, we did this for, again, 10, 10 reps. I was about to say 10 sets, but we did this for 10 reps. And you just focus on the squeeze, focus on the time under tension for this one, and you're going to grow a big back. And also, we took the, uh, the handle from the cables, the uh, seated cable rows, so you have that uh, close grip. Next, hitting some rear delts. Normally, we on a bulk, we'd have a little more volume than this, but since I'm on the end of my cut and Luigi's still in the middle, it's uh, a little bit tough to add more volume. So we moved directly to rear delts, did some face pulls. Then we did some shrugs right after, some heavy shrugs. And heavy shrugs, if you want to grow your traps, just do s three sets of heavy shrugs. And trust me, focus like this on your time under tension. Bring it up, hold it, bring it back down slowly. You're going to feel it, guys. Trust me. And 
next we're moving on to biceps, everyone's favorite muscle group. It's all dark in the background here, just like lit up from the window. This is where we kind of went our separate ways with the workout. We just did different exercises. And afterwards, we just threw in some forearms. We did a couple of uh, sets of reverse curls like you see here. And then we went on the static gripper in our gym. If you don't have a static gripper at your gym, just do some static holds with a dumbbell or some barbells or some wrist curls. It hits more or less the same muscles in your forearms. And it just works the overall grip. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. If you did, please leave a like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to us. We're on social media, so you definitely want to check that out. Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. And meanwhile, stay strong, guys. I'll see you in the next video.